Good afternoon everyone. Today we're going to be doing the AQA Biology Required Practical on Microscopy, which is making onion cell slides. So the equipment that you'll need today is a bottle of iodine solution, you will need a glass slide, you will need a cover slip, a Perspex ruler which has got millimetres on, forceps or tweezers, a scalpel, a white tile and you will also need, obviously, an onion. We're going to have a look at my microscope in a minute, I'll show you the parts of that first. We will make our um, onion skin slide. So I have got my glass slide already in front of me, I put a drop of water on it. Um, that makes sure that the onion skin can stick on there when I put it on. I have also cut up uh, an onion. I've cut up a red onion today. It just makes it a little bit easier to see the cells because they're slightly stained. You can use a white onion. It's not a problem. It is up to you. So we've got our red onion here. I've taken one layer. And on the inside layer of this, there is a very, very fine layer of cells. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm using my forceps and I'm going to peel off that top layer of cells. This can be a little bit tricky. Looks a little bit like skin when it's coming off and that's because it is skin. This is the inner layer of the onion skin. I will pull that off and I'll put it onto my microscope slide. You have to be quick when you're doing this. You want to get, oh nicely does it, you want to get it straight down onto your microscope slide on the drop of water and lying as flat as possible. You don't want any bubbles, you don't want any um, folds over. So I've got my onion skin on my slide, now I take my iodine. The iodine, again, is just to stain it a little bit better, so we can definitely see what we're doing when we put it on a microscope. Put a couple of drops on top, that'll help me to see it. And then I put my cover slide, or cover slip, on top of that. Now it's very important when you're touching the slides, when you're touching the cover slips, only to touch the sides. You don't want to get your greasy fingers all over the top because then the only thing you'll see is your fingerprints. So that goes on top of there. Easy peasy, I've made my slide. I will put my white tile, my scalpel, forceps etc to one side now and we'll have a look at the microscope itself. So the microscope that you're using might look slightly different from mine. They all have the basic same ingredients, basic same parts. Um, a few variations, but I'll show you mine and we'll have a look at what the bits are called. So this is my microscope. This one um, has got a light at the bottom. A few of them have got mirrors at the bottom. The point of the light at the bottom is to shine it through our sample so that we can um, have a look at it. Uh, I have got, here we go, labelled, don't know if you can see that if it's too far away. I'll point them out anyway. So we've got our light at the bottom here. At the top we have our objective lens and that is what we look down when we're looking down the microscope. The objective lens is got a 10 times zoom already. So 10 times zooming here and then we come down here, these lenses have got higher power zooms. So on my littlest one, often you will have a little one with a red colour. That's a three times zoom. The next one up is the yellow colour and that's ten times. And the highest magnification usually is 40 times, which is a light blue. So adding that with my eyepiece lens, all all in all, if I'm using the red lens, that's times 3 times 10, so 30 times. If I'm using the yellow lens, that's 10 times 10, which is 100. And if I'm using the 40 lens, that's 40 times 10, which is obviously 400. So those are my lenses. They're easy to rotate between. In general, we start off with the red one, and then we move up to get more focus in. We have also what we call the stage, which is where we put our slide on. We call it the stage because it's where the amazing stuff goes. That is where your slide gets clipped on with the clips. So I will grab my onion skin slide. 
It's important to clip it in place because when you are adjusting, you don't want to accidentally move your slide and lose the wonderful cells that you are focusing on. So we clip that in place, either turn it on if it's got a light or turn the lamp on and you should be able to straight away see something, hopefully. So I'm going to look down there, massively blurry, pretty much just looks like white. So I need to use my adjusting knob. So we've got a big one, that's a coarse adjusting knob. Um, that's for moving it up and down quite a lot. And I've got a fine adjusting knob, which is here on this one. And that's for fine tuning how I want it to look. So have a look down the microscope. When you have managed to um, focus on your cells, it should look a bit like this. So you should see some cells there. Um, you might be able to see cell wall, certainly a few nuclei, and some cytoplasm. Don't expect to see any of the other structures that you typically associate with plant cells. It's pretty difficult to see unless you've got a more powerful microscope or you've got something which is a bit better staining than on the onion peel cells. So typically it'll just be cell walls, nucleus and cytoplasm that you'll be able to see. So we're going to have a look down and it's up to you what magnification you want to go up to but at some point you're going to have to start drawing. Now if this is my sample, I'll move a little bit closer. much better. So if this is my sample here, then what you want to do when you are drawing it is just get the outlines of the cells. You do not have to draw all of them. You just have to draw a few, get the general gist of what you've got. I've just drawn the cell walls here and I've drawn the nuclei. So you can see that's pretty close to the original. I've just done a few of the cells. If I move back over here, you can also see in this one that I have got these weird lines. That's because when you're doing this practical, part of the reason is so that we can draw properly and so that you are able to draw um, cells if you've seen them on the microscope. The other reason is you need to be able to calculate length of cells, you need to be able to calculate scale. So this is where your perspex ruler comes in handy. Take your perspex ruler and you're going to slot it under the microscope next to your slide so that when you look down the lens you can see the cells and you should place your ruler so that you can see the millimeter, just one millimeter width and you can see how many cells you've got on that millimeter. I'll come back a bit closer again. So on this one that I have, I've chosen to put the ruler here because I can see these three, one, two, three cells fit quite nicely across there. So move your, move, your ruler around a little bit until you've got the correct or an easy number of cells. You don't want like two and a bit cells. You want three cells or definitely four cells or definitely 16 cells. Move it around a little bit. So when I have, when I've found those three cells or four cells or five cells, I can do a calculation. When I'm calculating the actual length of the cell, you want to count how many you have in that one millimetre length. Very simple, divide it by a thousand. That will tell you the length of each actual cell in micrometres. So you do how many cells can you see in one millimetre divided by a thousand, that is how many micrometres long each cell should be. Obviously it's not perfect, some are going to be bigger, some are slightly smaller, but that's a good average for that number. When we have also got your um, drawing that you've done, so mine from earlier, you probably can't see it, probably a bit light on here, you can also do a scale bar. So we can, onto that drawing, also include a scale bar. And how you work out how long to do the scale bar is you do a very simple calculation again. You take your drawn length of the cell 
let's say we want to do a 500 micrometer scale bar, I would do the drawn length of the cell times by 500, divided by the actual length of the cell that you just calculated. If I wanted to do a 2 micrometer scale bar, I would do the drawn length of my cell times by 2, divided by the actual length of the cell. So there's a couple of calculations for you there. Super simple, practical. You make your onion cell slide, put it on. Remember all the parts you might go to call. Remember how to focus it. Then you draw it. Calculate the length of one cell, and then you can calculate your scale bar. And that's pretty much it. To the AQA required practical for biology about microscopes. Thank you very much.